Hello, I'm Charity from Parsnips and Parsimony, and today I'm going to make a, be making whole grain whole wheat oatmeal crackers. These crackers are really good. These are really good as a healthy snack, and our family really enjoys them. The first thing you will want to do is warm up one and a quarter cups of milk until it is scalding or very hot. You will want to microwave the milk for about two minutes, but you should keep your eyes on it to make sure it doesn't boil over. Now, in a separate bowl, you will want to add one cup of whole wheat flour, one and a half cups of white all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of brown flax seeds. You will also want to add four tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one a half to one teaspoon of salt. I microwave my milk for two minutes and it is boiling. One one thing that can help you tell if your milk is ready is it will have a filmy layer on top of the milk. To the milk, you will want to add one cup of rolled oats and four tablespoons of butter. After you add those ingredients in, you will just want to stir it and let the butter finish melting in the hot milk. Now in our dry ingredients bowl, you will want to stir all of the ingredients together. It's been about five minutes since I added the butter to the butter and oats to the milk, and the, now the butter is fully melted. Now you will want to add your oats, milk, and butter combination into the dry ingredients. Now what you want to do is mix everything together. After you've been mixing for a little while, the dough should become harder to stir. After the dough becomes stuck to stir. You, you can hand knead in the rest of the dry ingredients in the bowl. Now that all the flour has been worked into the dough, the dough should be a soft ball. You will want to now flour very well a, your countertop or any flat surface to place the dough on. You will want to place the dough on it and knead it just to make it all come together. Now you will want to divide your ball of dough in half since this will spread a lot when you roll it. Place the dough on the floured surface and then you will want to flip it over and place it on some more flour to, to ensure that both sides are equally floured. Now you will just want to start rolling it. You will, after you roll it a few times, you're going to need to spread more flour underneath it and on top because the dough will start sticking to your rolling pin. You will want to keep rolling this dough until it is about an eighth of an inch thick so that these crackers will cook and get nice and crispy. Now you can either do one of two things. You can cut the crackers on the counter with a pizza cutter or you can take your sheet pan, an ungreased sheet pan, and place it on top of the crackers and press it down so you get the basic shape of the crackers. Then with your pizza cutter, you will want to cut along that line. Then with your rolling pin, you will want to take the dough and fold it over and place it on your cookie sheet. After you get the dough on your ungreased cookie sheet, you will you will want to finish trimming the dough to the size of the cookie sheet. Any excess dough do not wrinkle up in a ball or throw away. We will use that later. Cracker sheet on to your pan. You will want to take your pizza cutter and cut them into squares or rectangles, whatever you want. And just cut them into strips and then we'll go across. After you have finished cutting the crackers on the cookie sheet, you can cut the dough that you have left over from rolling them into pieces. The edges where you did not roll the dough big enough. If you do not want to place the cracker dough onto a cookie sheet and then cut it on the cookie sheet, you can cut you can cut all the squares on the counter and place them on the cookie sheet that doing that takes a lot longer and placing just the sheet of dough on the cookie sheet to be a lot more a lot easier and less time consuming. You will just want to sprinkle some salt on your crackers so that they taste like crackers. 
You can also use the salt that comes off, that comes in the bottom of pretzel bags. You will want to bake these crackers at 425 for about five minutes until they're done. You will have to watch these closely because I have had these burn very quickly before. The crackers are done and this is how they look. Now I'm going to give one to my two little sisters and see how they look. Can you go Gracie? How do they taste? Switch some. Oh, Mary. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and consider subscribing to our large family daily vlog.